Hello family, it's True Sugar and I'm coming to you today with a uh, finale for both my Finish 4 by 4th of July and my Finish 5 by Summer 2016. Yeah, it's my Finish 5 by Summer 2016 and my Finish 4 by the 4th of July 2016. You never know when someone's going to be watching this video, right? Right. So... Um, I don't have most of the items from the finished five by summer, mainly because I just don't know where they are. Um, I do have my Mally, um, my Mally eyeliner in black cherry. I actually finished it this morning. I did not finish it by the end of summer, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I did a get ready with me this morning, and this is the eyeshadow look that I got using this liner, and of course my um. Paraguay palette, sleep um, limited edition Paraguay palette. So I really wanted to use this today to finish it up because I, I have been enjoying it so much and it is done. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, when it came to the Urban Decay D Slick Spray and the Urban Decay Complexion Primer, I just I filmed the video and I never used them um, because I realized now that even though they are prime essentials that you need they're not something that I was I would pull for every day because in every day I don't normally use a, um, a spray so I have no idea where they they are close by I just don't know where they are um I've used this primer my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base I've used this way more than I've ever used my Urban Decay Primer Potion Primer Complexion Potion so yeah that's with that um, for the Smashbox Studio Skin, I still have it. It just became way too light. Way too light. Um, I'm in the color, I have the color 4.1. And in the winter, springtime, that color is appropriate. But in the summertime, quickly, it was within like the first two or three weeks. That color didn't work anymore. So instead, I have been using, one of them is right here, I think. Is it? Okay. This is, um... One of them is my, the writing is all, but my Complexion Perfection Liquid Foundation and Coffee Glaze by Black Radiance. I've been using this, and I've also been using my Urban Decation, Urban Decation, Urban Decay um, Nude Skin Foundation in 11 as a foundation, and that's been working for me for the summer too, so... That's where I am with those two. Um, my black rate. <coughs> Excuse me. My black radiance. Soft focus power. I just have no idea what I did with that particular product. I will let you know that I have, since I can't find it in my where I put it, I have been um, using my black radiance um, bronze uh, press powder and bronze go glow. And if you if I've posted any of my get ready readies with me, you will see that that is the product that I normally use. I normally use this press powder to set my face. So even though I haven't had the other one, I have been working on this one instead. So that's what's been going on with those. So once again for the finish five by summer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion Complexion Primer Potion. Never used it anyway. I've been using the um, L'Oreal primer instead. The Smashbox Studio Skin, too light. Didn't think far enough ahead of getting a darker shade because it was like too light. Like my skin, like there was nothing I could do even with trying to bronze. It looked like yellow foundation with some bronze on top. I wasn't going out my house like that. So we didn't do that. The Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder, I have no idea where it is, but instead I did focus on using the black radiance press powder and um glow bronze glow instead my d slick spray have don't use it haven't really used it so not really and then the mally the mally eyeliner and black cherry didn't finish it correctly during the challenge but it is gone as of this morning it is gone out of my collection which is kind of nice i think these are like 16 dollars or something a piece so all in all, I still am satisfied with finishing up those items from, well, at least getting this item completely out of my collection and then recognizing that 
um, certain products that I think are really staples, they're not. And I'm just trying to work them out. So, yeah, I'm satisfied with that. And then I had, I believe it was, let me go back to it. In my finish for by 4th of July, I had picked nail polish, perfume, I think I picked my bronzer, and I picked my Lorac eyeshadow primer. I don't know why I could I keep putting in the Lorac eyeshadow primer and stuff because I never actually can keep up with it. I don't know if that's me, my subconscious saying, hey girl, you hate that, move it out your way. But I didn't really, I haven't really used it at all over the last few months. Um, as a matter of fact, the last couple of videos that I've done with Get Ready With Me, I don't know if I posted it yet, yet. but I've been using this um, eyeshadow primer from Alto and Nude Matte, and that's what I've been putting down. It's not a favorite or anything, but it's just something that I know where it is, so I put it on my face. So, I also had, let me just make sure. I also had in there the, the um, Black Radiance con Continuous Eye Cream Color in Champagne. I lost that little bitty thing right away. I did not keep it inside of a makeup bag. So that didn't work well for me. So I haven't really used it except once or twice. The nail polish that I was supposed to use, which is something that I really do like in the Natural Tan by the Revlon Color Stay, I just haven't been wanting to do my nails um i've been i was able to get myself to do my nails twice over the last three months so yeah <laughs> um uh, the britney spears um curious perfume this is a favorite perfume of mine and i am currently really not liking this I had to step away from it after like going in hard for like a month and a half. I was starting to hate this stuff and like I really love it so I just backed away. Like there's no point of me overusing up something just to get rid of it if I'm not enjoying the process. Um, I did, I have just a look, let me see, you probably can't see. Yeah, I can't really tell. I have a very teeny tiny amount of progress on this, which let which lets me know that this probably would have taken me a long time to finish. But right now, I'm just not putting it in project pans or anything. I'm just going to not really worry about working on it. I'm just stepping away from it so that I can come back at a later day and put it back into to wear it. Because right now, I'm hating it. And it's kind of sad because I know I love it. I think it was because I was trying to use it up too much. So... For me, um, the finish for about 4th of July was a complete bust. I think that maybe if I had continued to do updates monthly, um, I might have gotten better results, but I did not. So we're definitely going to work harder while I do the 7 by the seven Summer Fling tag. Yeah, so I'm doing that now, so we'll definitely work harder to get that up get that done so if you have any questions or concerns definitely hit me up on the yt i'll see you soon have a lovely day